Hello and welcome to the 2021 uh, men's and women's track and field season preview. Today I'm joined by head coach Mike Salem. Mike, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me. No problem, Molly. I know it's been a while. You guys have missed a few seasons. What's it been like having the team back together? Um, I mean, it's been it's been really good. Um, you know, we were, you know, in the fall we had a very small group that was here on campus with us. Um, you know, but they they worked you know pretty diligently. Um, you know, fortunately, this the spring semester, yeah, probably about half the team back. Um, you know, we certainly miss having the whole team back, um, but it's definitely nice to be able to have, you know, as many people back as we do. Um, you know, but it's it's been good. We've been able, you know, kind of been training indoor as much as we could during you know January and February. Um, you know, we've been fortunate to have a very nice stretch of weather here so far in March. Knock on wood. Um, you know, and, and hopefully that carries over into April when we finally get to being able to compete again. Um, you know, but I think it's, it's uh, you know, that, that everybody's been putting in the work, you know, and, you know, uh, we'll, we'll kind of see where it goes. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard. I think it's been hard for a lot of our, our students to not have uh, a real, real end goal, um, you know, really until you know, the last, you know, few weeks when we kind of knew that we were, or that we've been told that, you know, they're going to try to do NCAAs outdoors, that we're going to have a conference meet, um, you know, that we were able to pull together the dual meet schedule that we have. Um, you know, it, it, it's hard to not have that stuff in front of you during a lot of, you know, the last 12 plus months. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I think people, have, you know, now that they can kind of see that there's something that we can actually build to, I think people are pretty excited about. Yeah, definitely. Do you think this time away from the sport has changed your perspective or the perspective of your athletes? Um, I mean, it certainly has made me appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I already, I always knew, you know, anytime that we would go on a summer break and suddenly the students aren't here, you know, it's, I, I can't wait for them to get back. Um, you know, and, and so I think a, a lot of them probably, a lot of the students have had a similar experience of, of, you know, maybe they have a new renewed uh value of of you know what the opportunity is and that they get to do this and get to get to be with their teammates and get to train together um and and i so i hope you know all of them you know take that away from it but that could be applied to any part of their life um, whether it's family or friends or anything that during the last you know this this crisis you know we've we've had to Kind of reevaluate so yeah definitely and a lot of your athletes are typically competing two or even three seasons out of the year so when spring comes around they've they've got a few seasons under their belt do you think it's been challenging getting them prepared without having the fall in the spring of the fall in the winter this year yeah i mean i think it, we had to kind of reset kind of what your expectations are what their expectations are um you know you can you're not having a cross-country season or an indoor season to really build to this outdoor season, you know, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't mean that you couldn't put the work in, um, but, you know, but you're not having those weekly, you know, uh, checkpoints at, of going to meets to be able to see, you know, how, how is this working or how is this turning out? Um, you know, and so, uh, you know, I, I think you know, they've missed that. Um, I know that we've missed that in terms of their coaching, being able to try to get it so that we can gauge, you know, is, is what we're doing as a, as a group, as an individual with their training, is it working? Is it, is it something that we have to tweak and play with still? Um, you know, so we kind of have to still, we, we haven't really gotten to that point yet, um, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks we will and, and we'll have some time to be able to really make those kind of adjustments. And because of that, kind of unique structure of the sport, these athletes have missed more opportunities to compete than maybe some of their other classmates. Um, do you think that's kept them, do you think they've struggled to stay motivated or it's created more motivation with the uncertainty this year has brought? I mean, I think, I think everybody has probably gone through some element of, of you know, when you, when you don't have an end point, it's kind of what we talked about before, but when you don't have that end point or something to really build towards, you know, it's, it's not the same, you know, you're, you're losing, you don't have that competitiveness to, to, I mean, you can still have that competitiveness, but you, you don't have 
these competitive opportunities to be able to really work that that element of your training, you know, and being able to feel like, you know, uh, there's a payoff. Um, you know, so I, I think that's, I know, you know, even for myself and I know for, you know, the other coaches on our staff, the other coaches in the department, you know, it's been a challenge to be able to stay motivated this whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think we've been diligent in trying to manage, you know, COVID restrictions and, and you know, the limitations that we have um, and been creative about how we've been able to try to train and, and create opportunity. And, you know, and, and we're finally getting to a point where, you know, we're starting to hopefully be able to, to have some payoff in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. How have uh, you guys adjusted to the new protocols in place to maintain safety? I mean, I think, you know, one of the things that I think, you know, we always preach to our students is, you know, even, you know, in, during normal non-COVID times, you know, like there's only, there's so many things that you can control in a meet or, or going into a competition, right? Like you can control your training, you can control, control your preparation, how, what you're eating, how much sleep you're getting, um, you know, but you, you can't, there's parts of it that you can't control and you just have to live within the, the confines of that. And that's, I think, you know, kind of how we've approached COVID. Um, you know, I, I remember, you know, pretty, pretty early on, you know, talking to everybody and just saying, you know, the, the teams, the students that, that come through this and, and remain the most flexible are going to be the ones that have the most success because you're willing to be able to do whatever you have to do to be able to make it work. Um, you know, and, and I think that's kind of been something that I think everybody's been trying to really do, um, you know, in our training through this semester and, and through last fall and last summer, um, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, I think we're, we're finally getting to a point where, you know, uh, we can finally see where we're at with that. Mm -hmm. um, I know last winter, the men's team ended on a high note with the Little East Championship. They didn't get the chance to uh, contend for that title again in the uh, spring. How do you think, uh, or who do you think presents the biggest challenge of reclaiming that title in the Little East this year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's gonna be a challenge. Um, you know, we have some very talented people that are back, um, but we are certainly missing some very talented people too. Um, you know, people that were big contributors to that, that, um, you know, championship last winter. Um, you know, I, I would say, you know, everyone in the conference, uh, because of the uncertainty of what COVID's presented and inconsistency of training and, and opportunities to compete or not compete, you know, I think everybody's, you know, uh, kind of uncertain about, you know, who, who's going to really step up and into it and be able to really, you know, put forward the best stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I think all of our conference competitors are, are you know, a, a pretty big challenge to us. Um, and there's some very talented student athletes that they have, you know. Um, so I think our, our students are kind of excited for being able to get back against them, and be able to compete. Um, you know, we're, we're lucky that, you know, right now the plan is to host the conference championship here um, the first weekend of May. Um, and so being able to do that at home, I think we're excited about that. Um, you know, and, and I think individuals, you know, looking forward to go and trying to defend their individual titles. Um, you know, Andrew Swallow in the shot put, Cam Rogers, you know, did very well in the high jump, the hurdles, the uh, triple jump, long jump uh, during that, that indoor championship last year. Taylor Walsh is returning to try to defend some of her titles. Um, you know, so there's, there's a really good group there, um, you know, a core group that I think, you know, um, has been working really hard and, and you know, want to be able to go and be able to defend uh, their titles, their individual titles as well. Um, you know, but yeah, so I mean, I think every, every, all of our conference competition, I think is going to be a challenge and it'll be interesting to see where, where people's training and what they've had, the opportunities that they've had, what, you know, what that turns into this spring. Yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to watch it play out. What are you most looking forward to about competing again? Oh gosh. I mean, just <laughs> having the team back, I mean, and being able to go and, and flex those competitive juices a little bit, um, you know, it's been, you know, the, the last time we were even really gearing up for that was, you know, uh, George Papoulos going to NCAAs, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I still Joe, Oh, <laughs> I still owe George, uh, an NCAA, uh, meet. So I, I feel bad for him, you know, uh, 
but you know, it's, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, just being able to go back out there and be able to be competitive, be able to have some good competition, you know, the, the neat schedule that we've lined up, I think is pretty competitive. Um, you know, and then obviously having, you know, um, I think, you know, the postseason is going to be a little different than what we're used to this year, but I think there's still going to be some good opportunities for those people that might be going and trying to um, get that opportunity to go down to Greenboro um, in, you know, uh, late May, to be able to compete at the NCAAs. Um, you know, I think it's, it's, uh, you know, something just to be excited for. Um, yeah, it's, it's been funny, Molly, because literally every time we've gotten to do something a little bit more, it gets me so energized. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, getting people back in the fall, the few people that we had, like, that was the best part of my day was getting to go and be able to work with them. And then to finally having the team back or, or most of the team or some of the team back. Um, you know, this spring has been, you know, as much as we've been trying to spread things out and, you know, spread out practice times, get it so that we can really, uh, you know, uh, have, have good training groups and be able to let people be able to do what they need to be able to do, but not have so many people at the same time that, you know, it's, it's, we're risking COVID or, or, or balancing those risks. Um, you know, it, you know, it, getting back to do that was exciting. Now getting outside again and starting to see our facility come together is exciting. Um, you know, and next weekend when we open up, uh, hopefully is, is going to be very exciting. So. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely been nice getting back to a little bit of normalcy. Yeah. you bet. Well, thank you for taking the time with me and uh, best of luck this season. Great. Thanks Molly. Thank you.